In this video we want to look at computing derivatives by first principles. Let's just remind ourselves that what this means is we want to use the formula for the derivative given by the limit as h tends towards 0 of f of x plus h minus f of x all divided by h. This is the formal definition of the derivative. So let's apply that to this example here where we have f of x is equal to 7 plus x. So what we find from this formula is that we have the limit as h tends towards 0 of f of x plus h will just be given by replacing x by x plus h. So we have 7 plus x plus h. The f of x term we have here is just 7 plus x and we divide that by h. Okay, so we have the limit as h tends towards 0 of 7 plus x plus h minus 7 minus x all over h and then this is just the limit as h tends towards 0. The 7's will cancel, the x's will cancel and we get h over h which is the limit as h tends towards 0 of 1. 1 doesn't depend on h, so we have that the derivative is just 1 at every point. Okay, let's look at a slightly more complicated example, looking at f of x equals x squared. We put this in the formula just as we did before, and f of x plus h will just be f x plus h squared the f of x is given to us as x squared and we'll divide by h. This is, well what we'll do is we'll expand the x plus h squared. We'll get x squared plus 2xh plus h squared minus x squared all divided by h. The x squareds will cancel so the limit as h tends towards 0 of 2xh plus h squared over h. I can divide every term by h. So we have the limit as h tends towards 0 of 2x plus h. And now I can just set h equal to 0. And we end up with 2x. So f prime of x is equal to 2x. Okay, one more example. We have f of x is x squared minus 5x plus 6. So we'll have, let's just first note that f of x plus h is x plus h squared minus 5x plus h plus 6. So we'll have x squared plus 2xh plus h squared minus 5x minus 5h plus 6. And so in particular the derivative is given by the limit as h tends towards 0 of this expression here. So x squared plus 2xh plus h squared minus 5x minus 5h plus 6 minus f of x so x squared minus 5x plus 6 all divided by h now we can cancel out the x squared here 5x and the 6 so all these go away and what I'm left with is the limit as h tends towards 0 of 2xh plus h squared all divided by h. Uh, those are f minus 5h as well coming from here. Divide every term by h. I get the limit as h tends towards 0 of 2x plus h minus 5 and now putting h equal to 0 in we get 
2x minus 5. And that's it for this video. If you liked the video, please uh, like the hit the like button. And if you want to see more of this content, uh, be sure to subscribe. Okay, I'll see you in the next video.